Wow, this is really dark. Wow, that's really bright. So hi everyone, today I am going to do an updated room tour because a while ago, like maybe a year ago when I started my channel, I made a room tour, but since then, my room has changed quite a bit. I have got new items in my room, like for example, I got a new freaking bed. <laughs> So I thought, why not go ahead and make a new room tour because my room has drastically changed since then. My room has always been that room in the house that's always changing, it's always moving, it's always getting updated. When I started it, obviously, <laughs> um, I was kind of in my emo hippie phase, so I didn't like pink. So now I am stuck with this shade of blue in my room because no one will paint it and no one will allow me to paint it. So we're just going to have to wait to paint my entire house pink whenever I get one. <laughs> so let's actually start on the outside of my room. So this is my door. There's nothing too exciting about it. I always thought I should decorate it, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of decorating the doors. There's my stepbrother's door. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like I should decorate it, but then again, I feel like that's weird. So anyway, let's go ahead and step inside. Light off so you can get the effect of the room. Hello, son. So this is my room right now. <laughs> um, quick little spin around before I turn on the light switch. So hopefully you all can see it better. It <laughs> looks so much better to me if you do it like this. So I don't know. <laughs> um, I might leave it on for a second to do the tour and everything and then I'll turn it off. This is my dog Gromit. When you walk into my room is my door. And right here is my actually um, quarantine Sailor Venus cosplay that I started making that still has pins in it because I am not finished with it or anything because I just lost interest and I didn't have time. So um, <laughs> she's nearly finished. I need to put a few more hours into it and then maybe she'll be done, but this is the first thing you see into my room. Behind it we have some little like Disney stickers because I love Disney, a lone cat sticker. I'm thinking of taking those off and actually like decorating my door, like if you can tell in my room there's so much blank space and everything and I really want to fill it up. Ain't that right? First of all, let's get a little reading here. These are some fortune cookie fortunes that I have from different, like, restaurants and everything. Um, this is my favorite. May the rainbow, if I can focus, may the rainbow always touch your shoulder. <laughs> may you have a good appetite. If your cookie is in three pieces, the answer is no. The secret of staying young is good health and lying about your age. These are just my favorite ones that are just like quirky and just ridiculous. So I save the absolute ridiculous ones and I put them right here because I think they're funny. And you know, brighten up your day with some stupid corny jokes. So next I have my calendar which right now we're in August so it is Sailor Pluto. She's not really my favorite. Sailor Scout. Um, she's more of the gothic one and everything, so I really don't like this maroon color and everything. Here's the date scratched out with the times I work and everything. Isn't that fun? Next week, we got Mr. Tuxedo Mask and everything. So in a week, I'll finally be able to turn this and make it a slightly less ugly color than maroon brown. My closet, which I have one door open right now, and I might, might as well go ahead and open the other one. So here we are. So the first thing that we see is, this was actually my curtain before I got my new curtains. They were the sheer pink ones and everything, and they let the light through. They were basically just for design. These ones, on the other hand, keep everything out. So I just hung these up with little pins up there just to make a cute little like curtain, sheer curtain over my little work area in my closet because I just thought it made it a little cuter. Um, I have some of my 
lights that are actually green if you can tell they look like they're on a black cord but they're actually green because they are made for a Christmas tree but I got them at Walmart around Christmas time focus please and um I just strung them up around my room and originally I wanted it to take it up around the corners of my room like this but your girl is only 4'9 and even with a step stool she could not reach it so draping <laughs> was the only thing I could do. We'll get into the story behind that in a minute. <laughs> the first thing when you open my closet you see an empty cup that I drunk a monster energy drink out of so I could get out of bed in the morning. Um, my little YouTube book here, this is Prove Them Wrong, I just have a bunch of YouTube ideas and everything in here, I write all my plans in, and yeah, that's where these videos come from. Here's my little sewing box, some little labels and everything, and here is actually, <laughs> oh it got really yellow, um, right here is actually my school supplies which I have a Spanish notebook and I have some little art supplies and everything. I'm going to back out because it's so yellow. <laughs> so yeah, those are my school things. My sewing machine. If anyone knows <laughs> anything about it, please let me know. Because, oh my god, we're yellow again. I don't know like anything about my sewing machine. I know I got it on Amazon. I know how to use it and everything, but... If anyone knows some history about it, hit me up. Some little notes and everything. Um, here is where I track my Instagram follows and everything. We love having a 666 in February. <laughs> um, anyway, I just like to have some notes and stuff up here. Helps you get in the mood to craft. Down here, some of the supplies and everything. And right here is, well for one, there's a Pokemon um, little sticker that I made when me and my mom were big Pokemon Go fans and we would venture into the graveyard to find the Pokestops and Pokemon. And here, if I can <laughs> declutter these lights a little, is my first baby bear, actually. Um, I got this from my grandma's house when I moved up here because I just thought it was sentimental and it was cute. And it's like the first baby toy that I think I ever got. So it's a big childhood memory and it's really cute. Sewing supplies, art supplies and everything. Down here is my junk, which is basically all of my fabrics and projects that I'm working on. Here's a project that I'm working on from work that I'm going to... I already cut the bottom off and I'm just going to hem it and make it shorter. Because this was a really long... Um, t-shirt slash button-up shirt and nobody would buy this because it's so ugly and long so I thought I would fix it up and try to make it wearable and cute um yeah back here just some fun things some more fun things up here like an iron Jason a Sailor Moon blanket some Christmas presents and my knitting that I really need to finish because I never have time for it apparently. And what the heck is that in the back? Oh my god, that's the cat that my grandma made me. That's very creepy, but I love it because my grandma made it for me. Clothes, I have them arranged in color order and everything. And there's some of them that I do want to get rid of. I made a closet tour and I did get some more. I still have a haul video, a thrift haul to do. So, um... We got some stuff that I need to update. <laughs> Down here, I just have some backpacks along with some things like tote bags that I have filled with things I'm selling on Poshmark. Link in the description. <laughs> um, and a hamper. So that's my closet. There's a lot going on. It could be a lot nicer up here. It's just I have to throw things up here because I'm so freaking short that I can't even really reach up there. So, yeah, closets. Over here, I have kind of like a cosplay section because I feel like my mannequin is in a good spot right next to the sewing machine. Right now, I have my Nozomi Loveless World 
um, cosplay on it. It's the Little Devil Nozomi cosplay. Um, gonna get into that whenever I learn the dance and when I ever start the dance because there are two dances that I want to use this cosplay for. I bought it on Poshmark from someone for like $30. So like, this is an absolute steal because wowie and this isn't even the whole costume there's more in my trundle full of cosplay stuff up here is my little sailor moon wand collection that's very crappy um a while ago i really got into wand collecting and i still am kind of into wand collecting but not as much as i was i still would like to at least complete this series and everything but these little wands that you used to be able to find at barnes and noble for like 15 dollars are now like 40 dollars on amazon so like uh but um i think i would like to finish a wand collection or grow a wand collection so yeah this one's actually my favorite because it glows and it makes some sounds and here i have my tv it's got the roku screen because we don't have cable in this house um here is my little oil diffuser that has some peppermint oil in it if you can't tell I'm a big peppermint oil fan. I just, I don't really believe in a lot of essential oil things. I believe that it can help minor things like a cold or something. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I just think it smells good and it's pretty and it helps soothe me sometimes. And my Wii <laughs> that I did start playing and then I just stopped in the middle of quarantine because I got bored. So, yeah. And my little lamp, which actually my lamp is plugged into here, but I don't use it that much because it is in a really awkward like area of my room. So I really want to put it over here and everything, like where my juvia is, but um, I can't reach behind there. So we're going to have to move this out to get this behind. Here's a couple things, not that you can tell because my Voltron thing is blocking it um it's just my scrapbook a picture my lighting stick and my iron because you know cosplay <laughs> some ugly cords that i really need to hide somewhere in here i have like pajamas and like around the house kind of outfits like sweatpants and yoga pants and stuff we're not gonna open her <laughs> now to the mandala that you see on my room <laughs> So, when I came to Asheville, North Carolina, I got really big into the hippie phase and everything around here. So, um, I really wanted to, like, make my room basically look like a downtown Asheville, like, mural and everything. So, I had this dream of, like, turning this whole wall into, like, a mural and everything. And then... Um, I got out of that phase, <laughs> but um, here's my little mural. It's not really showing up too well, but it is glittery and everything. And this is what my room, the colors were based on and everything. There's a lot of paisleys and oranges and yellows. Um, obviously, <laughs> I have since then grown out of that phase and moved on. But um, I would like to get rid of that along with those walls, but not necessarily the yellow. I would love these to be pink, but oh, that's a lot of time. Artist wall that I'm actually going to move and change because before my desk that's in my closet was right here and it made a lot more sense because it was more like aligned and everything and now my bed is here and not in the middle of the room anymore. That's why there's this like large open space because that's where my old bed used to be framed. But um, here's my little con artist alley memorial i guess i don't know <laughs> um my little wall um i do kind of want to get rid of the voltron things but then again i don't because i tried to go very sparing on them <laughs> because i tried not to clog my room with voltron but i really do love these pieces and this is from one of my cosplay friends. This is the only piece on this wall that I didn't get from Khan. Um, I got all the Voltron stuff in the middle the first year, and then I got my Usagi the third year. And um, <laughs> I commissioned this 
from one of my friends because these are my two favorite husbands and I have another one that I will make a video on <laughs> but not now <laughs> some little Easter eggs and everything from Walmart that I stole from my mother because they light up and they are cute bed. um this is my bed it is a very big boy I got it from rooms to go like I don't know at the beginning of the year you can jump on the bed it's okay you're allowed up here I love you <laughs> Um, here we go. So, my bed, I really love this new, like, kind of shelf area on my bed because before it was a metal frame bed, so, like, there was, like, you know, columns and everything, and you couldn't do this with. So, um, I really love that I have a new, like, stand area for one that I can put my stuff on. Uh, there's still a lot that I need to do because I don't like the way that this looks, especially on the top. So, um, obviously, my shelves that I got at Christmas don't need to be hung up, because it's, like, what, four months away from Christmas? <laughs> um, she needs to be hung up, finally. I really want to put that right here on this wall. I don't know what the heck that is. Is that a shadow? I think so. I'm going to call it a shadow. <laughs> So let's start here. Um, I don't really know what's in there. Honestly, I don't know what's in there. <laughs> um, here's my little Asian money bank cat. Why is my camera so blurry? Ew. <laughs> here are my little Keith and Lance's. Lance is hiding. Me too. <laughs> um, here is a little, like, I don't know, angel maybe? Fairy? And some unicorns. Um, there's this little art thing that used to be in my baby room when I was a baby and I thought it was cute. So I took it. I don't know, it's just sitting back there. <laughs> here I have my books, which is just mainly right here. Harry Potter and um, Percy Jackson because those are my favorite book series. I'll actually like move this and come closer because I'm very proud of this section right here of my bed, which is my princess section that I have dubbed it. I have a little Aurora and a little box that I kinda wanna like get rid of. It's just full of like medicine, like Tylenol and stuff. Like, you know, when you get a headache and you just need to pop a pill, <laughs> you just go in there and dig it out. Here I got this little crystal like gem and everything. Um, I got it from Christmas, like, you know in elementary school when you have those little Christmas Santa shops? That's where I got that from because I could not resist. And back here I have a little angel sculpture that has my birthstone in it that I got from a arcade <laughs> because, fun fact, I'm really good at arcade claw games. I've always been really good at them, so if you need anything from an arcade, hit me up. <laughs> Here I have my Connie Glenn books, um, Undercover Princess series, The Rosewood Hall. I love these books. I haven't read this one yet simply because I don't really read unless I'm in school because I have a hard time focusing at home because <laughs> I'm like, I have so many things to do, but um, I really cannot wait to read this one. And I'm pretty sure she's coming out with a fourth one soon, so we. <laughs> Here's my little tiara from Charming Charlie. I just think it looks really good with the princess books and everything. Here's a little pink bunny rabbit and a little squishy peach. And behind is my season five part one of Sailor Moon. Here is my little Sailor Moon part of my shelf. I have this Sailor Moon like DVD set over there because Sailor Moon technically is a princess. She's Princess Serenity. So like I wanted something Sailor Moon in my princess section but um here is my Sailor Moon section which I have a Barnes and Noble stand Usagi aka Sailor Moon and a plushy Sailor Moon and a little princess I want to say <laughs> Queen Serenity because her hair is silver and like when she becomes the queen and everything she gets silver hair but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Princess Serenity and here is all my Sailor Moon manga and everything. I've stopped kind of collecting manga. I think this is the only manga that I have left right now because um, 
I used to really collect manga and like make a whole deal out of displaying it and everything, but I've kind of got to the point where um, if I'm not going to read something again, like all these books here, I will 100% read again and everything. So some of these manga that I have, it's not like something that I would necessarily reread again for aesthetic reason, which is one of the reasons why I'm keeping Sailor Moon. But um, because I like watching the anime more anyway, but this is more towards like Sailor Moon Crystal and I kind of like the storyline of Sailor Moon a little more than the actual Sailor Moon <laughs> series. So um, here we are. <laughs> And up here are just a few of my favorite movies that actually correspond with my books. Um, and a little Asuna because I think that Aelo, I, love, I think that Aelo Asuna is just the cutest little like blue baby there is. Like, I'm sorry, she's cute, fight me. So here I have my Harry Potter DVDs, Sailor Moon DVDs, which are the movies and stuff my Barbie movies, which these are actually my three favorite, no, two favorite, this is actually my favorite um, Disney, well, it is princesses, but it's like these Enchanted Tale series, which, I don't know, I just, these are my two favorite princesses, um, Jasmine and Aurora obviously are my two favorite, I love Aladdin, I love Sleeping Beauty, and um, this was just great for me as a kid, because it was like my two favorite, like, princesses and idols at the time combined into one teaching you life lessons and the songs are so freaking good like peacock princess is such a bop and my two favorite barbie movies fun fact um about the barbie and the 12 princess series i literally had the like oh she's only 12 dollars i had the like little coach and everything from the movie like their little carriage and i had almost all of the 12 Barbie princesses and I had the guy who I don't remember his name but um I had him and the wardrobe that he had full of like their little dancing slippers and everything and if you can't tell I really love Barbie and the 12 Dances Princesses. I love Barbie. Awful <laughs> Percy Jackson movies. Um, they're awful, but they're good if you separate them from the fact that it's Percy Jackson. If you just think about it as like a different universe slash movie series, they're pretty okay. <laughs> but um, I don't, I don't like that they don't really incorporate anything from the book except for like people's names. <laughs> Here are some more miscellaneous things like The Greatest Showman, Corpse Bride, which is like my favorite movie like ever because I love that the main character is named Emily and she's dead because <laughs> like same and Edward Scissorhands, I did watch it and I did get it on DVD because it's just such, uh, such a good movie. <laughs> and Lord of the Rings, which I don't know why they're not together and I only have two of them and The Hobbit but um, I think one of them's downstairs but I love Lord of the Rings it was like my first movie franchise as a kid I love that movie I love the series I love everything about it Elijah Wood aka Frodo was my first crush and I have Avatar because at the time Avatar was not on Netflix and I really wanted to watch it so I just bought it <laughs> And in here, in this drawer, I have some, like, lotion and, um, chapstick and my baby pictures because secrets. <laughs> and down here in this little section, I have some board games like Dungeons and & Dragons and an office game. Here I have a rainbow pillow that I actually got at Rooms to Go along with my bed, some Sailor Moon things, a heart pillow that I got at Goodwill because I'm classy. And a little alpaca that is, like, my favorite pastel colors because, um, this was, like, <laughs> during my 8th grade year, like, when I found Kawaii Culture and I found Connie Glenn, who was, at the time, Nutarella, so, um, I really got into these alpacas and the aesthetic and I just never bought any more. Curtains, which these curtains are like the best thing that I ever got. They're noise blocking and they're also light blocking curtains and I don't like light. <laughs> For example, this is what I like my room to look like 
24-7, dark, mysterious, like my dog, who wants to leave. <laughs> but, um, I did get these at Aldi, which is pretty awkward. I don't know if you can tell. There we go. They are a little shiny, but, um, yeah. Oh, it's like a whole new world out there. <laughs> oh, God, that's awful. Is it raining? Huh. You never know till you open your curtains. So, yeah, these things have been an absolute blessing. And here is my shoe collection. I do actually have some updated shoes and everything from my shoe haul that I did a few, like, weeks ago, days ago, a while ago. Um, I actually did get some new shoes, like these ones and these ones, and some of them here... I haven't actually added some of them I do want to get rid of like these ones not too big of a fan of those but um I love my shoes <laughs> I really love these pairs that I just got let me actually take it out in a better light to show you guys because I really oh she's very <laughs> up there I really love this shoe and with my Bath and Body Works thing obviously you can tell pink sparkles are like my thing I love these. I love Poshmark. <laughs> there was a pair of regular choice shoes that I really want on there, but the seller is not active. <laughs> so whenever they are active, I will 100% buy those glittery rainbow shoes. Here is my little bag that I got from Target that's a rainbow and very cute pop socket holder ring thing. <laughs> Here are my purses. I had a purse holder right there um i do want to get new ones like i kind of want to get like a little um <laughs> whole like jacket holder that you like put on the wall and everything for my purses but um i'm not a big purse collector or anything but i would like to have some cuter ones because these ones are all really small and this one i can just fit everything i will ever need into so that's why it's down here <laughs> because i grab it and i go but um, also because she's a thick girl. <laughs> and here is my vanity. And there is I. I is there. Hello. So let's do a little vanity haul. Which I kind of love <laughs> my vanity. Like I think I could have made it a lot nicer up around these little corners. I don't think she's 100% done. I do want to get a scarf for it because... I do my makeup here and if we can focus I get eyeliner and stuff everywhere and I need to clean it so I'm sorry I didn't clean it for you <laughs> I always like to have a little wig on a head sitting out because I think it makes your room look a lot nicer and it's pretty cute um, here's my little Juvia wig with her little hat because I really want to cosplay another fairy tale character which I think actually Juvia is my only fairy tale character that I have I have a wig that I use for Rico that I could do for Urza, which I bought for Urza and then never did. <laughs> um, I just finished Fairy Tale today. I sobbed. So, um, I'm going to be doing more Fairy Tale things because I love every character from Fairy Tale. Here are some little flowers that I got a while ago to spice up my room back when my desk was sitting on the other side of the room. They're really cute. They just make everything look so much prettier. Fake flowers are really cute. This was like, <laughs> again, if you can't tell by the color scheme, this was during my Nudarella phase and everything. My perfume and everything. Which one is it? Oh, she is almost dead. Gingerbread Latte. Here are my earrings in my little earring holders. Um, I really would like to do something different and nicer with my earrings but um I don't know I kind of don't have anything and I kind of like to have them out because then I remember to put them in Whee! here is my little makeup brushes and everything that I did just clean like the other day because now I'm at school and I'm doing school online so I really don't have to have makeup on and I'm working a lot less because I'm doing school right now so I don't really have a lot of days that I need to put makeup on but um here's my brushes and everything they're a little dirty now because obviously I've used them on my face I like it <laughs> 
Here's a little mirror that I got from Amazon for Christmas. Um, I like it. It's kind of stupid. It's kind of cheap. It's very cheap. Like, this is plastic. But, uh, what can you do? Here's some little rings that I have. Um, here's a little necklace thing that I got in a bath bomb that I need to get a chain for. Because it's really cute and I would totally wear this. Maybe I'll put it on a bracelet or something, but I think it would make a good necklace. And I got this little, um, holder and everything from my next door neighbor. They did a little yard sale and everything and I found it and I just thought it was really cute. And, yeah. I took a picture of it on my cute Instagram and everything. Also in the bio. <laughs> Link in the description. Here's a little cupcake that I got in my thrift haul. And a little... What is this? Strawberry <laughs> candle that I got a really long time ago at the Dollar General. And I just don't want to use it because I'm afraid that I'm not going to ever find another one. And it smells really good for a Dollar General. One dollar candle. <laughs> and in here I have a lot of little knickknacks like bows and scrunchies and like little combs for my wig. But um <laughs> fun fact, I kind of hate my pumpkin. It's not a pumpkin. Oh my god. Cupcake. I kinda hate my little cupcake because while she is very cute, very thick, she really stinks on the inside and I have tried to clean her. I run her to the dishwasher, I put her in like water and soaked her with soap and everything and I just can't get it to stop stinking. So like the inside and everything that comes out of it stinks. So um, <laughs> if you got any tips to get like smell out of porcelain stuff, please let me know. Trash. <laughs> I tried to make a little pen holder, but it came out really ugly because I did it at like 11 o'clock at night on a whim. But um, here's some little pens that I have. I love my pens. Um, I really want to get a, a nice pen holder and everything, but um, like I said, I was just trying to clean my room up a little bit and get rid of an old box that I kept my pens in and put them on display. So, wee! <laughs> I really want to get a pen holder, a really cute one, but um, some of these pens I do want to get rid of, like my Snape and my um, Nargles one, maybe my Voltron, and I would like to only have like cute pens. Um, if I did have these little bobble like <laughs> kind of pens, button pens, they would have to be like cute little ones like these, um, but I really do like my enamel pens, so I would like to have a bigger enamel pen collection and everything. So maybe in the future, you can see all these pins in my pin hole, which we'll put somewhere right here. <laughs> here is a quick view at the um, painting that I'm going to do in the next video. So you will see this. It's not really a painting. I don't know why I said painting. Sneaky peeky. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to do a little talk about because my friend drew this for me. I commissioned them and I want to shout them out properly. <laughs> A little yoga mat because I like doing yoga can you believe that and here we are back at the door down here is my trundle which I'm not going to show because it's a chaotic mess um, on this side I have like Poshmark items that I'm selling so if you want to like hit that up it's still going to be in the description and the middle part of it split into three sections that's more of my cosplay wigs. And over here, I have completely dedicated this left side into Love Live cosplay stuff only. Because I have so much Love Live cosplay stuff. And I honestly, let me know what you think. I kind of want to, like, convert my little, like, Instagram. I don't know why I said little. My Instagram into a Love Live Instagram. But I know I'll probably hate it. Because I like doing other characters, but, um, I don't know. I just, I really love Love Live. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Here is my bed, which I actually have not done. Here is my little bed cover that I hate, that I really want to get rid of. I really want a nice, cute one, but I haven't found one that I really like at a good price. Here is a rare item from a store that is 
Hashtag closed. Um, rip. Uh, yeah, rip Toys R Us. Um, I've had this thing for like seven years, this little blue dog. Um, I like sleeping on it. It's very fun. It's cute. Um, he's been through a lot. He's seen a lot. But um, I love him. He's been a great friend for all these years. <laughs> Here is a little... What is this even called? A little armchair kind of thingy that I got at Walmart that the day I brought it home, something happened to it. <laughs> and oh my god, that yawn. And um, I had to sew it back up. So that's fun. And over here is my ugly Lance pillow that I really kind of want to get rid of now because it's so ugly, but I need something to go on that side of my bed because. <laughs> You know, you gotta have something to fill the little hole. Like, let me come around here and show you. There's this little, like, hole section where, like, you can just, like, fit your whole hand in. And I need something to cover that because it's really gross and really weird. And sometimes stuff falls down there. So that's where Lance sleeps now. <laughs> and I hate it. It's so ugly. It looks nothing like him. Boy. Beautiful boy beautiful boy beautiful boy and then here you see this ugly cheeto donald trump looking orange skin weirdo who has really creepy like really creepy eyes and everything um i don't like the other side which is his palate inside because his mouth is open but his eyes are so much bigger like what the heck <laughs> like this side is like more <laughs> canon i guess to lance and everything but the mouth is just very creepy to me the eyebrows are creepy but like this side it's like i'm gonna kill you in your sleep kind of like look and um <laughs> this pillow just defiled my husband in every way it could so like i want to get rid of it <laughs> but um that is not my man like i'm sorry but that is not him that is not him what is that and so we are at the end of my room tour. Can I get a little head? Can I get a head, please? He says no, leave me alone. <laughs> but um, here is my room. It is very odd, I would say. <laughs> um, my style is very kawaii and everything, but I really do like some of the nerdier things in life. And um, not everything is always going to be 100% kawaii with me, because I am someone who I really like murder <laughs> and um like forensic -y stuff not like murdering people or anything that's not nice but um i do like kind of more graphic things like i really like paranormal things i really like forensic stuff like one of my favorite youtubers is ask a mortician <laughs> and um if that doesn't explain anything about me i don't know what will i do like things that are a little um <laughs> you know not 100% kawaii and a little more on the like gothic emo side so if you see me wear a black t-shirt don't think the world is ending <laughs> and that I'm changing my style um it's just that you know sometimes everybody they gotta do something different with their style and sometimes I just want to wear black and sweatpants and just <laughs> vibe <laughs> and whatever mood I'm going with so anyway, this is my room tour video, which I hope you guys like, and maybe in the future I'll make a small update, because I don't think I'm really going to change my room too, too much. Um, I am planning on going to college next year, after this year, which is my last year of high school, so hopefully your girl will have a, um, you know... A place of her own or like with a friend that she can decorate but I don't know yet I might still be at home um because it is expensive up here where I live and moving out is scary but I really love to decorate but anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know what's your favorite item in my room just like comment my dog if you want to because like he needs it he's sad <laughs> He's just a very depressed dog, so like, comment something nice about him to help him cheer up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!